We're here at Rosecroft in the winner's circle with a very happy driver and owners of the brilliant Race Philly Halcyon. The right time was 1.58, and Ray Raymond, he drove a brilliant race. Did you know that Philly was going to be this good tonight? Well, she was good last week. Uh, the Philly was brilliant. Not me, maybe. No, it was a super, super drive. We're going to watch the replay right now. We're going to pick it up the top of the stretch the first time. Ray Raymond got away fourth with his Philly. And, Ray, did you know you had to come this early? Well, I felt uh, if I didn't come now, I'd have to be first over the rest of the way. So I felt if I got there soon enough that uh, Benoit let me go, and which he did. Midia Samalu had brushed to the lead for Benoit Cote earlier in the mile. Ray, did you know that he was going to let you go? No, but I just had to take a chance. I didn't think it would do him any good to leave me out. And Ben's a real good driver, so uh, in fact, uh, maybe if he could have got out through the stretch, he had a little pace at the end, I think. Billy O'Donnell pulled right on your back when you made your move. His filly perhaps not as quick or handy as Halcyon, and when he ranges up alongside here to challenge, did he have you worried? Uh, I still felt, felt fairly confident at that point. Uh, like you said, his filly, uh, I think the bigger track helps her where it doesn't seem to matter to our filly. Your filly got a real nice breather in the third quarter, relatively leisurely, 30 and 3 fifths second third quarter. You're going to go into the turn here and head for home. Billy O'Donnell's going to start chasing his filly, and Medea Semelu is going to start breathing down your neck. What are your thoughts as you come to the top of the stretch? Just old Billy can keep her in, that's all. We saw last week in the Breeders' Crown when Billy O'Donnell was able to keep John Campbell locked in behind him with Jeff Spice. Here, did you think if Midia Semelu got out, she would have given you a real run? I think probably she would, but when she, about halfway through the stretch, I felt it was too late then if she did get room. You've dri driven a lot of fine fillies in your career. How does Halcyon fit in in the scheme? By far the best. Well, there you have it from Ray Rem and Halcyon the best. My colleague, Ellie Sarama, is with the happy owners of the Halcyon, Seth Rosenfeld and his father, Jack. I'd like to congratulate Jack Rosenfeld and Seth Rosenfeld on their fabulous filly. You own Pammy Lobel, and she's such a great race mare. Do you think this is her best yet? Yes, I think so, but the other owner is Seth's mother, Lana. Oh, well, congratulations <laughs> to Lana, too. Is this your biggest thrill ever? Oh, yeah, no question. This is our biggest race win ever. Were you very confident going into this race? Yes. <laughs> um, yeah, we were, we were confident, but... Uh, we felt she was the best, but there's so much that can go wrong, and luck is such a big part of it that uh, we didn't have total confidence, I wouldn't say. Well, we'd like to wish you our best congratulations on a great, great little filly. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you very much. And back to Alan. Well, let's take a look at the prices here, and Halcyon was very well regarded by her backers here at Rosecroft. She's going to return a mere 280 for the win bet, 220 and 210, and vindicate Alan Kirschenbaum's choice of Halcyon as the Breeders' Crown winner. Time well spent, $3 and 280. Midi Asemalu was 240. In the winner's circle, delegate Paul Weisengolf is presenting the trophy. Ellie